What's going on, guys? It's Deathmark here. Today, I'm going to be talking about something rather interesting, though I have briefly brought this up in like a few shots recently here on the channel. But in regards to Call of Duty Black Ops 6, we've managed to find out uh, what all the Dark Ops challenges are for campaign multiplayer zombies. And there will be some ones coming out for Warzone come season 1. So basically for those who don't know what Dark Ops challenges are, they are a long running set of challenges that have spanned across multiple Call of Duty entries. What sets these certain challenges apart is players that players must discover what they are for themselves. Dark Ops have hidden unlock requirements that players must solve. You may even complete a Dark Ops challenge on accident and only serve a hidden calling card. Now these have been made available through campaign, multiplayer and zombies in the past and we'll see them available across all modes again this year. So here's all the Dark Ops challenges that we know so far. <coughs> so for multiplayer, for 100k you get 100,000 eliminations. For two birds, one stone, you have to earn a collateral kill medal, so that's killing multiple uninjured enemies with the same shot outside of hardcore. So that's basically getting two kills with one bullet on it, with a sniper essentially. Or it could be accidentally on purpose killing an enemy with an environmental hazard. So when they say environmental hazards, it could be those explosive um, gas cans that you can uh, shoot at that explode if uh, when shot at, basically. Uh, another one called Ace. Earn four Ace medals, which is killing each enemy in a round of search and destroy, minimum of four enemies. So that's basically, if you if it sits four on four, and basically you're one of those four and one of those teams, you basically have to get the elimination on all four enemies to get the Ace. <coughs> So that's really interesting, you have to do that four times essentially. Blunt trauma, killing an enemy with a direct impact of a smoke grenade. So that's interesting. Uh, you'll probably end up doing a few of these, like I said, by accident, but we'll have to wait and see. Earn 10 triple kill medals, so three rapid kills or better in hardcore. Circus Act, earning a bank shot medal, that's killing an enemy by banking a combat axe off of the surface. Uh, next one is Dark Indeed. Earned Dark Matter on 33 weapons in multiplayer. Double Trouble. Kill both enemies in gunfight with a single shot or an explosion. Go Long. Get a long range combat axe kill, Semtex stick, or drill charge stick. Hard Breakup. Perform 7 finishing moves in a single match. Hit Job. Get 1 finishing move. Return to Sender. Kill an enemy by throwing back the frag grenade that they threw at you. Too hardcore for hardcore. Get 10 kills without dying one time in hardcore. Frenzy killer, earn a frenzy kill medal, which is 5 rapid kills. Mega, uh, mega killer is earning a mega kill medal, 6 rapid kills. Ultra killer is 7 rapid kills. Chain killer is more than 7 rapid kills, one after the other. Relentless killer is earning it, uh, getting 20 kills without dying. Brutal Killer is 25 kills without dying. Nuclear Killer is getting 30 kills without dying or earning a nuke. Nuked Out, earn a nuke in free for all without using skull streaks. Very Nuclear, earn a tw nuke with 25 different weapons. All kills towards each nuke must come from a singular weapon. So it's basically. <coughs> so once you get one, uh, one kill, you have to switch to another weapon. And basically, it's saying, in other words, you can't use the same weapon twice. So that is very, very interesting there. Zombies. Um, is so for Zombies, we've got Harbinger of Doom. Kill 100 enemies with a single score streak. Strike. Get 300 score while bowling at Liberty Falls. Liberated. Complete Liberty Falls quest in under 30 minutes in standard mode. Yo ho ho. On Terminus, earn 20,000 essence without getting hit with the cursed relic equipped. Terminal. Complete Terminus quest after round 50. Six and stones, reach round 25 solo, using only melee weapons, combat axes and melee macchiato. While that was a waste, get downed within 10 seconds after consuming a perkaholic gobblegum. Light em up, using the big game augment for napalm burst, kill 10 ignited elite zombies in a single match. Social distancing, reach round 20 without taking damage. Reaper of the undead, kill 1 million zombies. Kinoichi. Uh, during a single use of either shroud with the void style, with the void sheath augments equipped, kill three zombies, two special zombies, and an elite. Invincible, reach round thirty without getting downed. 
gummed up, consume 25 goggle gums in a single match, arm to the teeth, have 3 pack a punch level 3 legendary weapons equipped with ammo mods and 8 perks active, another round, survive until round 100, good enough, reach round 20 with only a starting logout and no augments equipped, and without buying any perks or ammo mods or using field upgrades. So that's going to be a bit of a tough one to complete. Box Addict. Buy every weapon from the mystery box in a single game. And Fatal or Fata Fatale? Fatal? Anyway, kill two amalgams with a single shot. So that's going to be quite difficult to uh, get through. Campaign. Now, there's only four of these for campaign. Uh, the first one is called Endless Options. That's destroying all Scud missiles without using C4 in the mission hunting season. So this is the um, mission where you get, you're, in a, you're in a large desert at night and you have to go to all of the Scud missile locations. That includes the one at the very beginning as well. And you have to destroy these using uh, without using C4. So you can use anything else but C4 to basically destroy it. I think it is possible to one-shot kill it with a RCXD. So if you have RCXDs available, I would definitely uh, get as many as you possibly can. Kineticist. I don't know if I'm saying that word right. Complete the time trial in a single run in the mission Separation Anxiety. So Separation Anxiety is the parkour part of the mission. Um, where you have to basically get to... Uh, the enemy just by flying of um, using the I can't think of the word I'm searching for but it's the grapple gun so you have to get from from the start to the finish without dying you can't let the time run out either and basically get to the door once you get to the door within the allotted time then you'll get the challenge complete missing persons stash five bodies in lockers in the mission under the radar so this is the one if I'm not mistaken where you're doing the stealth mission and there's three objectives. One that thinks like a um, helicopter, the, another one is the UAV tower, and there's another one I can't remember the name of. So uh, basically you can stash any five bodies, so you have to eliminate five of the guards, um, or stash each one while being undetected into a locker. <clears throat> so that's um, quite challenging, especially where you can't get caught, but um, and the last one is Phantom Presence. Sneak through the Black Site Intel Center without being detected in the mission most wanted. So that's going to be that's quite of a challenging one, which I actually did manage to complete by accident. So um, I think I may have got some video footage of that. I'll just see if I can dig that out here for you guys. So I want to know where you guys' views and opinions are of that. Let me know in the comments box down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't upload. Whilst on challenges, we're dropping in season one in mid November. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. I'll keep you guys updated with those. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.